Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So we continue for the second video for resources consideration. So the second video we show to you how to construct the resources profile. Okay, normally we construct the resources profile after uh, we construct the uh, plan resources utilization chart. This one. Okay, so based on this information, we will construct the resources profile. So how to construct it? Okay, we just refer to the number of the days here and the workers. And uh, to construct the resources profile, uh, it's like uh, to construct the a graph, okay, where you need to have the x-axis here. At axis is represent for the days. Okay, and the y-axis here will represent the number of the workers. So just looking these informations, okay. So on the day one and day two, you require nine workers. So just uh, construct nine workers here, put the level here, okay. And then day three and day four, you require eleven workers. So day three and day four is eleven workers. Day 5, 7, okay, 7 workers. Day 6 and 7 required 5 workers. 6 and 7 required 5 workers, okay. And last one is day 8, 9 and day 10, you required 3 workers, okay, 3 workers. Okay, why uh, normally we construct the resources profile? Uh, because uh, we can see when we construct the resources profile, we can see the uh, re number, uh, the requirement number of uh, workers, and we can see the fluctuations number of uh, uh, of workers required in complete uh, project. Okay, because sometimes uh, we need to do a uh, adjustment uh, in order for us to save our resources. So when we have this num uh, this uh, fluctuations, okay, sometimes uh, the company or the organization we lost because uh, they unable to plan their uh, resources uh, effectively. Okay, so that's all for. Uh, resources profile. Thank you.